what's going on guys forgive the lighting in here this is a little trash city i don't know what this is but anyways hi i'm doing a video on my phone because i feel like i can't do it on a camera i just can't i can't do it like on a camcorder or anything like that that feels like for big projects this is something small Anyways, it is January 31st, 2017, and originally I was supposed to do a video, but unfortunately I never did um, beforehand, and I wanted to do videos every day. That never happened, and that's not going to happen, but I will be doing more videos more often, hopefully. <laughs> so take that as you will. But basically, I wanted to do an update video because it's been such a long time since I said hello to you guys. Like, what? What's up? Hi. I know. I've been so MIA on everything. Like, I start a project and I just never finish it. I'm like, ah, whatever. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, sorry. This is a blanket. It is kind of cold in here, by the way. Um, yeah, I look terrible. I look atrocious. What is this? Ugh. Ugh. Anyways. Sorry about my presentation, but yeah. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update. Yes, I've been depressed for the longest period of time. No, I have not seen a therapist, but today I have good news. I feel very good. I feel very good. Very, very good, actually. Um, so much that I wanted to do a video about it. I felt so good for once. I don't feel very lazy. And uh, I feel amazing, actually. Um, basically, uh, let me explain what's been going on for a little bit. So it may take a while for me to get through this, but I wanted to tell you, here's what's been happening with my life. So on December 23rd, I was very sad. I was home alone and I was just pondering on the future of what's gonna happen not only with the country not only with the world but just in my life in general like personal stuff um i was tired of being depressed i was so tired of being depressed and i said i'm gonna see a therapist this year and i do plan on it um i just have to know what my health situation is like the health insurance i don't understand that stuff i'm gonna be honest i don't um, anyways, by the way, happy birthday, Justin Timberlake. I love you. Yeah. Moving on. So we are going to be continuing down this road, uh, called life. And, um, anyways, on December 23rd, I was depressed. Very sad. I think it was like the saddest I've ever been. I was kind of like in that numb state. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a point where you've been so sad, where you're just numb, you're like, like tears are coming down, but you just, you, you can't move, you're not blinking, you're constantly thinking of thoughts, and then you just can't stop. Well, a thought ran across my mind, right here, and um, it was basically a conversation that I had with a friend on Skype. He wanted to move here, and um, I was like, Oh, that'd be cool. He said, yeah, if we move here, if we can, me and you, we can both, since we're singers, we can go to the uh, gay men's course. This was like a three year ago conversation. I was like, what? I'm like, that would be actually really cool. I'm like, that's awesome. So, you know, that got me like all pumped. I'm like, yeah, okay. Fast forward, <laughs> three years later, I never looked at it. I never looked for it. I never, you know, paid no mind to it. Um, not because... I didn't want to do it. I really did. But I was just, I just didn't feel worthy to do it. And December 23rd, 2016 was where all that changed. Every time at the end of the year, I always have a tendency of having a fire light up under me. And I'm like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta move. You gotta move. Wake up, wake up. So I did. <laughs> and uh, so I looked on Google, looked up the New Mexico Gay Men's course. I found it, and then when I went in there, there was like a audition for like January 9th. I was like, oh my god, January 9th. It's so close, it's yet so far, but it's so close. <laughs> so of course, I said, let me do something, put myself in an uncomfortable situation, and sign up, sign my ass up. So I did. I signed my ass up to, to it, and I was like, 
What did I do? What did I do? I remember I instantly regretted it and I couldn't take it back. I couldn't. So I was like, oh God. So I started looking up YouTube videos about the New Mexico Gay Men's course, which I did find a few. I was like, oh my God, these guys are so good. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I just, I couldn't picture myself, you know, singing with these people. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't picture myself singing with these amazing people who just were so talented. And like, I'm like, oh, here's little old me who doesn't have any like talent. So like, I'm like, okay, whatever. Let me just go. Let me try and stuff. And I was looking at all the positives, like, oh, maybe I'll make some friends. Um, maybe I'll be more social. Maybe I'll get a solo. I don't know. Maybe it'll lead me to other things. Um, I don't know. I was just hoping. And I saw a lot more good than I saw bad. So I said, just go for a while. So I go to an audition. And the audition is if you guys have been following this channel since day one, which not a lot have, but if you have, like, if you remember, my very first video I posted up on here was, I believe, in 2008, um, in May, and I did a song by Ernest Charles, When I Have Sung My Songs. I brought that there. There was, luckily, it was a cappella. My mother was with me. My niece was with me. My sister was with me. My brother-in-law was with me, and we were all just, like, in there, and I was so scared. I was the only one who brought a posse. I ended up going in like a whole half hour early uh, than I should have <laughs> because I wanted to get used to the environment. You know, I wanted to get used to it. I think I went a whole hour ahead. I said I wanted to be here an hour and just wait because um, I just wanted to get used to the atmosphere. I wanted to see where I'm going to be performing at. I want to know if people could hear me through the door. So if other people came before me, I could see if I could hear. Um, and just get myself in the zone. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so, um, one of, one of the, uh, judges came out and, uh, you know, he was so nice and he like shook my hand and I'm here being awkward. I'm like, hi. And I shake his hand and uh, he's like, he's like giving me a hug and everything. I'm like, what? He's like, welcome and everything. I was like, oh my God, this is so nice, but I'm so terrified. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up. So I was stressing, you know, from from like December 23rd all the way to the 9th. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I go into the, to the thing and I'm like, oh God, I feel shaky. I feel shaky because I don't know anybody. And I'm just like, ah. Hi, hi, hi. And uh, I don't, I, I'm surprised I even did that because on my second audition, I really couldn't do that. I think I did. I don't even remember what my second audition was. But anyways, my first audition, I go and I sing in front of everybody and I got the song out. I was like, oh my God. Anyways, I had to do not only that, but I had to do um, like a vocal warm up. And so they're like, you're definitely a tenor one. I'm like, yeah. At least I still got it. So, cause that's how it was in my old choir like 10 years prior. And then, so I'm like, okay, so let me, um, um, let me, uh, anyways, it was, it was ridiculous. So I ended up singing the song uh, and people clapped. And I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. Like, I couldn't even say thing. I couldn't even look at them. And because uh, it's just, it's scary. I can't look at people. I can't. When I sing, I, I close my eyes. I was just like, ah, ah, and I'm singing the song. And then after that, <laughs> after that, we had to do like a sight reading test. Oh, that was tragic. I didn't know what the hell. That was bad. I'm like, oh God, did I mess it up? Was the song good enough? Anyways. So about an hour later, um, I get an email saying that I'm in. Welcome to the Game Ed's course. I'm like, what? I was so excited. I was so happy. I told my mom we were watching like TV and stuff and I was just like so nervous. I was like shaking. I couldn't, I was pacing around her house. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my. And, I, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I'm just like, okay. I said, let me get an hour. I check the phone. I'm like, I got it, I got it, I got it. So I told Mike, I told, um, I told Mike, I told my, my, my sister and everybody, and everybody was like, oh, I was like, oh my God, so I was so happy. And for the first time, I felt like I actually succeeded in something, which I did, you know. And then, so I wanted to make a promise to myself that this year, it's 
you know it's going to be different. And I know everybody said that, but I just said this time, no, I really, really mean it. <sighs> um, at this point, I want to do things differently. I want to be able to be a more outgoing. I want to be able to find friends. I want to be able to do all this stuff. And it's just funny how one single step or one step to like could lead to where I am. You know, from where I was to where I am now in such a short period of time shows you that damn, like, wow, how much one choice could really make on your life. Now, I'm gonna not gonna lie. I'm gonna sit there and I'm not gonna say that. It's been very stressful. I've been very stressed out. I've been very nervous. And, you know, I haven't been able to talk to people just yet. Like, people have introduced themselves to me. They've been nice. Um, I have a couple friends on Facebook from the choir, you know, and I, and I private messaged a couple of them. And they were so nice to me. Very, very nice people. Um, I just wish I could talk, you know? <laughs> you would think, oh, look, I'm gay. They're gay. This could be, you know, this is interesting. I, I know I can like say stuff. Here I am wearing shirts like this and they're all proper and everything. And I'm just like such a nerdy little kid compared to everybody else. It, it, like, like everybody just seems like they got their stuff together. And I'm just like the only one who's like, F no, mm -mm. but anyways, regardless, I am happy. I'm in a better place, definitely a better place. I feel excited. I feel incredible, actually. I really do. Yesterday I had rehearsal and I felt fantastic. I did my second audition and I guess I'll do that in like tomorrow's video where we'll talk about the next audition because this video has gone on long enough. So anyways, guys, if you've seen this whole video, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>